family and friends came together in Warwick and East Greenwich today to honor the life of a young woman who made a major impact on her community. Funeral services were held today for 16-year-old Gianna Sorella. The Tollgate High School student passed away last week following a battle with a brief illness. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen is live in studio now with how she was remembered today. Steve. Well, Shannon, the funeral was in Warwick, but I was also in East Greenwich as the procession went by the East Greenwich Police Department. It was an emotional moment. As someone who came to the procession today put it, it showed us all how many lives she touched. Hundreds gather in silence. A simple toll of a bell is all that can be heard as the lighted procession stops for Gianna Sorella's funeral. Inside, hundreds listen to the Tollgate High School Junior's uncle talk about his niece. Fiery, stubborn spirit. Her goofy, really goofy, dry sense of humor. Saying she was a great person, calling her death a lightning strike, unpreventable and unimaginable. And this cannot break us. It cannot darken our spirit. Sorella fell ill over the summer as her team and community rallied around her, constantly wearing her favorite color purple and her number 12. They held a blood drive for her. After she died last week, her teammates cleared out and painted a rock in her honor outside the high school and held a vigil for her Friday night. Of course, there were countless number 12 purple shirts. Yeah, it's very moving. Very, very moving. As the funeral ended Tuesday, the procession, beginning with red and blue lights, carried her by the East Greenwich Police Department, where her father is the deputy chief. And their family went through unimaginable tragedy, so... The town of East Greenwich and all the employees here stand with the family. Some held hands over their hearts, others wiped away tears. It was their way of saying goodbye to Gianna, the girl who inspired the phrase, G Strong. And as another sign of Gianna's vast impact, the East Greenwich Town Hall closed today from 11 until noon so that everyone could take part in that procession. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Today, family, friends, and many others line the streets of Warwick and East Greenwich to say goodbye to a teenager whose life was cut tragically short. Though she was only 16, Gianna Sorella touched many lives in her community and at Tollgate High School. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us live in studio with how Gianna was remembered. It was an incredible turnout today. Her uncle spoke at Gianna's funeral, calling her death unpreventable and unimaginable. The toll of a bell was the only noise that could be heard before Gianna Sorella's funeral. Inside the church, hundreds listened to the Tollgate High School Junior's uncle talk about his niece. We have to support and love and comfort each other. And this cannot break us. Saying she was a great person, calling her death a lightning strike. She left us with no uncertainty about how much she was loved. Sorella fell ill weeks ago and ignited a community to rally around her, her family, and her teammates on the school soccer team, holding blood drives and fundraisers. When she died last week, her teammates cleared out and painted a rock with her number 12 and purple, her favorite color. 12 and purple were everywhere at her vigil Friday night. And Tuesday, after Gianna's funeral, purple lined the sidewalk as her procession went by the East Greenwich Police Department. Her father's a deputy chief there. It's a show of support. They lined the street to give Gianna a final goodbye. A very, very moving uh, experience here. A junior at Tollgate High, Sorella was just 16 years old. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.